Now we're gonna talk about what do we store our food in? So this is really important. A lot of those Tupperware containers are made with BPA, which is a xenoestrogen, and our body can see it as an estrogen, and it's gonna cause bad effects in us and accumulate as toxins. Then it's hard for our liver to get rid of. So let's make it easier on our bodies. Let's not reheat things in plastic containers. Let's not store things in plastic containers. There are so many alternatives. So <clears throat> one alternative is just using glass. These are great. You can warm it up in the microwave if you're at work. You can warm it up in the oven if you're home. Um, I love these because they have the divider and then you put it on like this. So you can get those. I have a link on my Amazon to those. These are plant boxes. These are great for kids to take to school. Stainless steel. So obviously you can't heat this up in the microwave or the oven really. This is gonna be mostly for cold stuff. If you're like, well, I need my kid to eat something warm at lunch, this is Hydroflask, or you can just use any brand of stainless steel and it's an insulator, okay? So what I do is I warm the kid's food up in the microwave or the oven or toaster oven, and then I put it in here. Um, another tip is if you want it to be a little bit warmer to start with, I put some like warm water in here. So then it's kind of warmed up and then I dump the warm water out or hot water I use and then it's ready to go with the food. So the kids like those for lunch. Silicon. So you can actually cook in these even though we don't usually cook in silicon, but you could if you wanted to. You can use these in the microwave. We store them, we freeze them. So they have bags also, um, but this is, collapse it brand and I really like this brand because for storage it's great so if you have any plastic BPA you know tubberware stuff at home please get rid of it you could save it so if you're just sending leftovers home with people you can use it for that but tell them do not put their food in there but that is one thing you really want to get rid of you do not want to be heating up your food with BPA ridden Tupperware, plastic, Gladware, you know, whatever they call it. So silicon, glass, or stainless. Glass is my favorite. And then you can store in these and everything. One other thing is those plastic sandwich bags, like um, Ziploc or whatever. Yeah, you know, I use them from time to time. We also have kids bags that are silicon that you can reuse and send to school if they don't throw them away. I always say good job for bringing them back. And then you can also use cloth bags with Velcro. They have some really cute ones out. And sometimes I'll use those. Obviously they're not going to keep it a sandwich overnight from getting you know air in it, but they work well for kids going to school. So once again, those tips just do a little bit of a time or if you're ready for it clear it all out switch it all up so change the toxins in your life get your body feeling better um, easier for your body to detox and handle all of the stress so very important also